Hi, welcome to the small shed. This week we're actually getting around to painting the bus. See you in a minute. So we're finally there, we're getting to the point where we're getting it painted today. In reality it is something that has been completed and it took five, six weeks I think. So this is a sort of a flavour of what's gone on and I think you can see from one of the sequences at the end the biggest problem is the time taken. It's taking three coats of red to get a decent finish on top of a coat of white uh, under the undercoat to get it the MDF in a reasonable state to work from and then it needs a clear coat or two on top of that. We're ready for starting on the reds. Right now I've got all the pieces painted white there's probably about 60 or 70 pieces in all um, and I'm back in that stage where it's it's almost too much it becomes too big a project with so many pieces I mean these are just the bed slat supports and there's eight pieces here that I've got to deal with so I'm going to start and split it down into sub assemblies and just deal with them one at a time it's the eating the elephant yet again um, because it, it becomes less of a massive problem it's now a small problem of eight pieces that need sanding tidying screwing together and then painting and then they're finished and I can put them away well, even though none of this shows I still have to <laughs> set everything out and measure it all exactly the same I don't know There's something OCD about it all but uh, I'm just screwing it together rather than screwing and gluing because I might need to take it apart in the future and it only needs to just be tacked together for strength more than anything But last we're ready to start and try and get this colour about right. I'm not going to get too stressed about it but uh, just want to get some idea of darkening it down a bit and this tends to make it slightly more maroon but I've reached the point where I need some red paint. If I do this and I don't like it at least I can get an undercoat on and then go out and spend some money on some expensive top coat and we'll have at least saved half of the cost but I think it's going to be okay it's difficult to know how it's going to behave because I have been using it on a bare MDF in the past and now I'm on a white primer so we could well find it's um, lighter Right, well that's as dark as it's going to go. So I don't want to spend, uh, it's cost me more for the tube of blue than the whole tin of paint did, so I shan't be doing a lot more of that. But you can see, well I can see it is starting to um, drop the colour down a bit. Okay, so we're on to another little milestone as we start to turn the white gloves to red. I've attached all the pieces so we've now got well with the cross piece at the front we've got five pieces out of ten originals so we're getting somewhere with our making it smaller. If I can just get these painted up and uh, finished that's probably 10 pieces out of 60 or 70 for the bus itself so it's quite a large proportion of the bus is done in, in uh, one hit like that. I'm just going to do the edges with a brush and then I'll get on with the roller for the rest. But it's um, wow looking a bit scarlety but uh, that's what we want I think. Not quite sure how the white undercoat will behave but um, Certainly seems to be going on okay anyway. Not using a tray at the moment, I'm just coming straight out of the tin with it. But um, 
when they get onto the larger pieces I'll probably get a roller tray out and use that although a little paint roller like this and straight out the tin seems to work quite well anyway. Right now I've got the colour, got three coats on in the end, it's taken three coats to get a decent finish but they dry very quickly so it's not a problem. I'm pretty much there with the colour that I wanted to match the bedding that my wife's making for them and so I'm happy with the colour, I'm happy with the finish, it's giving me a lovely finish with the roller. I've got one minor problem um, and it's something that I think I need to address. And that is that it's very nice and it's Dulux paint but if you do that you can see there's a pink residue coming off at the moment. Not a lot but this has been drying for three or four days now and it's not getting a lot better. Now I don't consider it to be a problem on the outside of the bus but on the inside where the bedding is going to be I really don't want to find that after a week of being in bed and moving around the duvet is starting to get all marked. So I'm going to try putting a coat of clear satin over the inside areas where there's likely to be any sort of um, problem from bedding or kids rolling around on it playing, anything like that. Right now in the space of time it's taken me to paint effectively five pieces this has already dried, which is amazing. The first one's dry, and got no pink now. That's great. So that is the answer. It does look a lot darker than it did. Whether that will change when it fully dries out, I don't know. And it is a slightly different finish, so I may have to revise my opinion and do the whole thing with it, outside and in but I don't have a problem with that because it does seem to dry quite nicely. But it dries very fast, I mean that's probably 10 or 15 minutes and it's uh, dry. It's not a very warm day, there's snow on the ground outside, so yeah, result. Now it'll need a second coat but I shan't worry too much because it won't be going to that top edge again. Um, the secret with masking tape is not to let it stay on too long, particularly if you're working with relatively recently painted surfaces. So I'll just give that another coat across there but I'll just stay away from that edge when it comes to get its second coat. And we'll just take that off. last sheet, very last piece we've got to do, just got to get the white paint on this then the red and get this last bit finished. Right, coat 
number two. Then time for coat number three. to the clear lacquer. Right, so here we are after six weeks. We can finally take the bench down, it's done me well, worked well, finish the painting, we can go and do a test build but all the painting is now complete. And what this means of course is that we can get on with getting the garage sorted as well, which has been on hold now for best part of three or four months. Well that's it, we got there. Um, all I've got to do now, I want to just put it back together again once for two reasons. Firstly to make sure everything still fits because paint fills up areas and makes things thicker and that sort of thing. Touch up any odd pieces that got damaged in moving it from the garage into the conservatory. And then the other thing I want to do is to do a full assemble. Last time I put it up to get the main components right but I've never yet assembled all the wheels headlamps, grill, all that sort of thing. So next time we will be looking at all the, the fiddly bits, the details if you like. I'm going to have a quick look at those and then after that we can assemble the whole bunk um, in the, a video further down the line on that. Hope it was of interest. Look forward to seeing you. We'll be doing something different next week. I'll see you then. Bye!